imagine somebody doing that in real life, huh, Lina? What do you mean? I do it all the time, but for reals. What do you mean, for real? Gals, it's me, Super Day Rocket, and today we're going to be reviewing Venom. So usually I start off with a non-spoiler review first, and then of course after that the spoiler review. But I kind of feel like I can't really do it with this movie. So instead, we're just going to go straight into the spoiler warning. So as always, as you may know, Venom is a villain from the Spider-Man universe. So of course, since this is a movie about any Spider-Man related things, well, technically. So yeah, of course you have to alter the story a bit, alter the origin story and the story itself about Venom and um, the main character of this movie, Eddie Brock. So yeah, we, you kind of have to mix it up a bit. And I feel like they kind of accomplished it. I said kind of because, well, the story of Venom is basically about life, which I kind of think it kind of works for Venom. I really like it. It's a bit, it's actually interesting. I, I like the idea of this story about life in this movie Venom. But the problem is that it isn't fleshed out more. I feel, I feel like it should have been fleshed out a lot more is what I'm trying to say. I know, I kind of feel like when I see some of the parts here, I kind of feel like it's a bit rushed. Especially at the starting. I, I didn't mind it well at the start, but I, it started to become apparent later on during the movie. So yeah, I thought it was, I thought the beginning was just well, maybe they just want to go to the Venom part earlier, but no, it's a constant thing, which I, I don't feel like it's, a, it's the best thing they should do. Yeah, I can understand what they were going for, I, I, can, I really do, but I feel like we could have, un all, the, the, all the audience could have understand the story about this movie a bit more clearer, especially with the whole thing with Venom here. He was once, he wants to actually, before he wants to help his, um, alien race to you know eat all life on planet earth but then at the end he decides to save planet earth from well all the other all the other symbiotes to help Ian you know consume the planet but yeah he it isn't really clear on why he decided to change his mind he, the only thing he said was what the only things the only thing that he said was he was kind of a loser on his planet and the reason why he changed his mind is because of Eddie Brock so yeah, I kind of feel like there should have been more to this story, which it's yeah. I feel like it's a big, it's a what do you call it? It's a it's a big hole in the movie, as I'm trying to say. So yeah, that's one of the big major problems in this movie. Although I do find some entertaining moments in this film. Of course, there are the action sequences. It I know that there are, you know like some we some of them we've seen before the action sequences. But they actually, all, I, feel, I really like it that they have this whole Venom flair to it, which is actually pretty cool. I really like it. So, um, yeah, especially the final battle. Of course, I really like the whole battle with Riot. It, I really like the scene where, like, the two, the, two, the two symbiotes, like, mixed together, and then you got this weird cluster of the specks of Venom, the specks of Riot, with Eddie Brock in the middle and all that. It's actually pretty cool. I really like that. So, yeah, the action sequences are actually pretty entertaining. Also, another entertaining, the other entertaining moments that I have in this film, besides you know the action sequences, is something that I really unex, really did not expect to actually get entertained by. It's the interactions between Venom and Eddie Brock, which actually are pretty fun. It's I I kind of find it surprising that I actually really enjoyed the interactions between Venom and Eddie Brock. I thought when I watched the movie, it's just gonna be like. Venom threatening Eddie Brock all the time and Eddie Brock cannot control Venom and all that but no, it's, it's they actually are interacting in a funny way and sometimes sure, sometimes Venom's like more, of course Venom is always threatening in some occasions but in some, sometimes in this movie you can actually see some little f fun moments between Venom and Eddie Brock which I actually like, I know it's, it feels a bit odd to see it in this, in this movie you know, it's a movie about Venom, it's one of the... Uh, just look at him, he's... Look at the teeth and the eye. It's a very scary looking character and you got this kind of fun interaction between Eddie Brock and him in the movie, which is, yeah, it's a bit odd, but 
I still like it. I actually kind of like it. I enjoy it. I enjoy those uh, parts in the film as well. So yeah, even though I didn't really like how the structure of the story went, I at least I came out the cinema enjoying the movie for you know all the other stuff that I mentioned earlier. So uh, yeah, at least I enjoy this movie, which I'm really happy because I when I first watched the trailers and you know really before I watched the movie, I I wasn't really that interested in watching this film. I'm not sure how this is gonna entertain me or have a good story, but yeah, that's out of the window already. But yeah, at least I know that this actually is entertaining, and maybe one day I will actually rewatch it when it comes to DVD or something like that. So yeah, at least I won't be avoiding this thing um, as much as you know some other bad films that I have seen, which I'm not gonna be mentioning. But yeah, at least I will. At least it's good that. It's enjoyable to watch. So with that said, alright guys and gals, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know that that really isn't that much, but yeah, I kind of feel like that's pretty much all I have to cover for this film. So uh, yeah, until then guys, rock it on!